Alright, hi, Assalamualaikum student. So today we are going to learn about hybridization process. In order to describe the hybridization process, you must follow all these steps. Step number one, draw the Lewis structure. Step number two, determine the number of electron group around the central atom. Step number three, determine the type of hybridization undergoes by the central atom. Determine the num uh, determine the molecular shape. Uh, of the molecule or ions. Next, uh, describe the hybridization process by using valence electron orbital diagram and lastly show orbital overlapping. Okay, let's start with sp hybridization. Okay, I use beryllium chloride to explain uh, sp hybridization as a simple example for sp hybridization process okay okay so this is the lewis structure of beryllium chloride all right so now you have to determine the number of electron group around the beryllium atom so from the lewis structure you can see the number of electron group around beryllium since there are two bonding pairs is two okay since there are two electron group around beryllium atom, therefore beryllium undergoes sp hybridization. And the molecular shape of this molecule is linear. Okay. And the bond angle is 180 degree. Okay, so now write the electronic configuration of beryllium atom. Beryllium, the proton number is 4. So the electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2. Chlorine, the proton number is 17. The electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. In our previous lesson, I've already explained to you only valence electron involved in the formation of chemical bond. So, we will focus on valence electron of beryllium which occupy 2s orbital and beryllium undergoes hybridization but beryllium will form covalent bond with chlorine so we have to uh, refer to the valence electronic configuration of chlorine also right so the valence electronic configuration of chlorine is 7 okay so uh the process of hybridization okay so you have to describe the hybridization process by using valence electron orbital diagram valence electron orbital diagram so for which atom for beryllium because beryllium undergoes the hybridize Okay, baiklah. I will use uh, Bahasa Melayu and English in this video, right? Okay, so the process, eh, process untuk uh, hybridization uh, will start with ground state. Ground state of beryllium. Okey, apa yang dikatakan ground state? Ground state ini adalah keadaan asas sebelum beryllium itu uh, excited to higher energy level. Kita dah belajar dalam chapter 2. So, uh, apa yang kita nak tulis dalam ground state ni? Kita hanya fokus kepada valence electron of beryllium. Okey. So, valence electron of beryllium occupy 2s orbital. And there are two valence electron of beryllium there. But earlier, we have already determined the type of hybridization undergoes by beryllium, which is sp. So, even though 
from the electronic configuration you can see there is no two there is no electron in 2p orbital actually the 2p orbital is there but it is empty so we have to draw the empty orbital of 2p all right so what's next by referring to the Lewis structure you can see around beryllium there are two single bond and all single bonds are uh, sigma bond it shows that around beryllium there are two sigma bonds ok apa sebenarnya yang kita nak tunjuk kita nak tunjuk how the sigma bond is formed from the orbital overlapping itu ideanya ok tetapi sekarang untuk beryllium form covalent bond with chlorine ok uh, beryllium must undergo hybridization first what type of hybridization sp ok tetapi sebelum dia hybrid kita kena tengok dulu dekat sini how many sigma bond is formed eh, sorry how many sigma bond there there are two sigma bond around the beryllium atom it shows that to form two sigma bonds beryllium need two unpaired electrons maksudnya untuk membentuk dua sigma bond ini beryllium needs two unpaired electron however the ground state of beryllium shows no unpaired electron ok ah, jadi sekarang kita nak dapatkan unpaired electron unpaired electron tu adalah elektron yang tidak berpasangan kenapa kita perlukan elektron yang tidak berpasangan sebab elektron yang tidak berpasangan daripada beryllium itulah yang akan dikongsikan dengan klorin tapi sekarang dekat ground state tak ada tak ada unpaired elektron jadi sekarang macam mana how beryllium uh, can have two unpaired elektron so we have a next step which is called promotion of elektron ok in order to form two sigma bonds beryllium needs two unpaired elektron so now one electron from 2s orbital of beryllium is promoted to 2p orbital apa maksudnya sekarang beryllium perlukan dua unpaired elektron sebab dia nak form sigma bond jadi satu elektron daripada 2s orbital of beryllium akan uh, diuja ataupun is promoted to 2p orbital diberikan tenaga dan dia absorb energy maka dia akan excited uh, ataupun istilah paling mudah excited to 2p orbital jadi kita akan ada satu step dan apa yang berlaku only one electron left in 2s orbital of beryllium another one electron is promoted to 2p orbital so now we have two unpaired electrons tapi walaupun kita dah dapat two unpaired electron dia tak boleh terus uh, overlap sebab beryllium mesti mengalami ataupun melakukan hybridization process what type of hybridization process kita dah tentukan tadi SP maka macam mana nak dapatkan SP hybridization ok kita dah belajar SP 1S orbital will mix with 1P orbital so now 2S orbital with, uh, will mix or mix with 1 of 2P orbitals of barium maka kita akan ada step yang seterusnya yang dipanggil SP hybridization so bila dia telah mengalami hybridization ataupun penghybridan satu set orbital yang baru terhasil so namanya bukan lagi 2S namanya bukan lagi 2P dia mesti ada nama baru sebab nama dia adalah hybrid orbital ok so hybrid orbital itu namanya SP ok so kalau you tengok kat sini SP ada berapa hybrid orbital ada dua, satu, dua dan uh, pada SP hybrid orbital of beryllium ni tadi sebab beryllium yang mengalami hybrid terdapat unpaired electrons so setiap satu SP hybrid orbital of beryllium ada satu unpaired ni SP ada satu ni SP ada satu unpaired electron apa jadi pada dua ni tadi dua yang empty ini dia tak hybrid pun memang tak ada elektron buat apa nak hybrid kan so kita lukis semula so kita labelkan sebagai 2p which is empty orbital 
Okay, settle with describing the process by using valence electron orbital diagram. Okay, so now we are going to uh, show the orbital over lapping. Okay, previously, in the previous video, I've already show you the shape of sp hybridization. Jadinya sekarang, bila kita nak lukis orbital overlapping, dia mesti tally. Dia mesti tally dengan molecular shape yang kita dah tentukan. Molecular shape ni kita tentukan berdasarkan Vesper. Ha, kita dah belajar tu dalam 4.2. Jadinya sekarang, uh, ber, uh, kalau kita refer kepada type of hybridization dan molecular shape tu, dia align. Maksudnya, dia memang setara lah. SP bentuk linear kan, asalnya electron group arrangement dia linear. So, according to Vesper, molecular shape of beryllium chloride adalah linear. Maka, shape bagi SP orbital itu adalah linear. So, macam mana kita nak lukis ataupun nak tunjukkan hybridization uh, process dan juga orbital overlapping, kita lukis dulu SP hybrid orbitals of beryllium. Okay. Lukis okay, besar sikit lah ya. Supaya boleh Uh, what untuk label ok so ini adalah uh, hybrid orbitals bagi beryllium so orbitalnya bukan lagi 2s bukan lagi 2p nama dia adalah sp ada berapa sp? ada 2 1, 2 ok Setiap hybrid orbitals ini okay, ada satu unpaired elektron. Okay. Jadinya sekarang, kita kena tunjukkan how the sigma bond is formed from the orbital overlapping. So, kita dah settle dengan beryllium. Beryllium telah mengalami hybridization. So, klorin tidak mengalami hybridization, maka dia akan overlap dengan Orbital yang mana? Okey, kalau kita tengok, baik, saya tunjukkan jugalah kat sini kan. Okey, kalau saya lukis orbital diagram bagi klorin, uh, valence electron of klorin, 3S dia sudah penuh. Nampak? Okey, 3P dia ada 5 elektron. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Jadi, Kita dah belajar bahawa ini adalah covalent bond. Ini juga covalent bond. Jadi sekarang macam mana klorin nak form covalent bond dengan beryllium? Mesti share elektron. Jadi nak share yang mana? Ini, okay, katakanlah ini klorin atom yang pertama, dia akan contribute satu lagi satu unpack elektron dia to be shared with one elektron which occupied sp hybrid orbital of beryllium. Uh, jadi yang ini, uh, salah satu 3p orbital of beryllium akan overlap dengan Salah satu daripada sp hybrid orbital orbital of uh, beryllium. It could be 3px, 3py, 3pz. Tapi tak kisahlah yang mana-mana pun. Yang penting dia mesti end to end overlapping. Ah dia mesti end to end overlapping. Sebab sigma bond terhasil melalui end to end overlapping. Okey, jadinya sekarang katakanlah ini 3p of chlorine. Uh, so label kan ya, mesti label klorin ok, uh, 3P lah label satu saja kat sini ok, so bila dia overlap dia akan berkongsi elektron so apa yang ada dekat uh, overlap region elektrons with opposite spin maka terhasil lah satu sigma bond ok, yang mana? yang inilah ok, baik, satu lagi proses yang sama, dia akan overlap dengan uh, one of the 3P orbital of another one uh, chlorine atom so labelkan di sini chlorine dan orbitalnya adalah uh, 3p di sini maka tempat di overlap ada electrons, uh, shared electron with opposite spin so now another one sigma bond is formed so you can see bila dah siap overlap orbital overlap ini dia align dengan molecular shape yang kita dah hasilkan tu tadi. So, each sigma bond is formed from the uh, overlapping of sp hybrid orbital with 3p orbital of chlorine. Maksudnya, setiap satu sigma bond ini terhasil macam mana? Apabila satu daripada sp hybrid orbital overlap dengan uh, satu 3p orbital, maka dapat sigma bond. Sama juga sebelah sini. Dan, 
Macam mana boleh dapat shape linear ni? Dia ditentukan berdasarkan valential electron pair repulsion theory. Okay. So, ini contoh untuk SP. Kita tengok uh, video akan uh, the next video untuk SP2 pula.